Hello guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to be talking about how to start a racing game and I'm going to pick up as an example the Project Cars 2 game because I think it's the best game at least for now and at least for me so first thing, uh, choose a car that you want and that suits you of course if you are a beginner, you want to be looking for a car that it's easy to handle it's not that fast but not that slow actually so for example I choose the Radical SR8 uh, and we are gonna be racing in Mugello GP. Why? Why did I chose Mugello? Mugello is because I really want to practice this track. Uh, I just got the DLC my brother gave me as a gift, so I always wanted to race at Mugello, but uh, so far I never raced in another game as well, so now I have the option to race in private cars. First of all, what I'm doing here, I'm just uh, picking slick tires, so we can go out and don't have any troubles. If you are racing in another car, be sure to select slick, slick tires and uh, probably soft tires. Why soft tires? You do have some options like soft, uh, medium and hard tires, and I think the soft tires are bare ones, at least for the first few laps. So if you want to practice, you're not gonna be putting it into some uh, 20 laps straight, so you can like, actually pit stop and change the tires, but... So go for the soft if you do have the option, other than that for this car it's just the slick tires. So now we are going out for the track and uh, we do have cold tires. And I don't ha I don't uh, know this track very much, I just know a, a little bit about the racing line because I watch MotoGP and I like this track, but I don't know exactly where to brake and, and stuff like that. <clears throat> so the outlap, you really want to go slow there, you really want to try just to see what happens and uh, you know try not to exit the track at least not too much so you have a, a base to build on on the on the second on the third and fourth lap and you can see that i i break too early especially because i don't want to mess up but i'm a, i'm also slow on the track so i don't know where to break but uh, as laps go on you really you really want to try go a little bit harder every lap and as you can see, I just exit the track a little bit, but... So just to recap, uh, select a good car for you, that suits you. And I can show you some examples on different cars. For example, I tried this track with LaFerrari, and it was not a good experience. First, because it's a car that it is not easy to handle. It is somewhat difficult to handle, especially when you go on the gas, it's too much horsepower. Plus, it doesn't have too much downforce, so you cannot go too fast on the on the corners. And if you want to go on, on the gas a little, bit, a little bit earlier in the exit, you're probably gonna have some problems. You can also pick up, for example, instead of the radical, you can pick up some GT3 car. But uh, it's gonna be faster. It's gonna be easier to handle, pretty much. Uh, they all have. Uh, it's like a racing car, so it's it's better for you to try instead of tra some track day car or something like that. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna stick to the Radical just because it does it does have decent downforce and stuff like that, and I like the car. You can choose whatever car you want, but remember, don't pick up something too powerful and that doesn't have down uh, too much downforce. So you keep going on and on, and how do I really progress? Well actually there's no secret because you just need to practice you just need to try one lap and on the next lap you try to go a little bit harder and on the in, on the next lap you try to go a little bit harder on that lap and of course the tires will get up to temperature then you, you try not to make mistakes because if you for example tries to break uh, 100 meters later on some corner you're probably gonna fail because it's it's just not like that try to break a little bit a little bit every time until you're gonna make the corner perfect and you know that's the point maybe if you get more speed you try to break on the same point or something like that but if you really if you really are breaking on 150 and then you break on 50 you're probably gonna mess up so you're gonna think oh my god what uh, where do I break now 100 where do I break you know but if you keep going a little bit uh, later every time it might sound boring because you're gonna get uh, slow on the first second third attempt but when you get there it's gonna be perfect you know at least near perfect so after you try this uh, these three things that I, I, I told you 
pick up a decent car, pick up the same track and then try to go a little bit harder every time. You should try, if, you, if, you, if your game allow you, try to go for the career mode because it shows you a little bit about the game in general, you can race many tracks, many cars and it's not difficult. You can for example go for medium or hard settings, depends on, on your skills, but uh, <coughs> you can always get uh, like a sample from, from tracks. Uh, you're probably not gonna race 100 laps as the beginner, you're gonna race 3 laps, 5 laps, 10 laps maybe. You're gonna make practice, qualify and then race, so that's gonna get you a lot of experience. Don't think that with less than 5 hours in the game you're gonna know a, a lot about the game. I'm uh, around 120 hours in this game and still I have a lot of cars that I never tried and <laughs> some tracks that I never tried as well. So. If you are a guy that really enjoys racing, you're probably gonna stick to at least one class in a few tracks and I'm gonna try that, so at least that's what I did. So yeah, I don't want this video to be too long, I'm gonna finish for here. I will be showing a little bit more about Mugello and stuff like that uh, with different cars in the next few videos, so stay tuned for that. Thank you my friends and I see you next time.